Hi, um, my name is Harvey. If you've been on this channel long enough, you probably would have known that. Um, and today I'm going to start a new series of videos where I do programming tutorials. Um, it's all going to start off fairly basic. Um, my knowledge on programming isn't, you know, the greatest in the world. I know about programming and I would know how to code a program if I was asked to. Obviously not the best, but I know, you know, um, some bits about programming. Um, I know a lot about Visual Basics and the whole Visual Studio suite. Um, it's free, all from Microsoft. You can go download it. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is sort of an uh, introductory video where I am going to show you how you can make a web browser um, in Visual Basics. Um, this is one I've already like pre-made. Um, it's fairly, you know, straightforward. It's just a window. Um, this white box here, which will now have a uh, URL, this is the URL box here, and uh, this is the actual web browser itself here. This is where the um, actual website will be displayed. Uh, there's a go forward button and a go back button, so if I just type in a, sorry, I have a mic in front of my keyboard, um, there you go, so YouTube there, and just click on YouTube. There you go, and if you, just to show you that the go back function works, and takes you back to Google. Do it again, takes you back to Google, forward, forward, yeah, the idea. So uh, basically it's a really, really easy thing to do. So you wanna do is you wanna, if you when you start this up, it will just say like new project. So you wanna go to new project and you want to make sure you've got um, under templates, uh, click visual basic and uh, it will look like this. Don't click visual C hash. I'll probably try and cover C hash when I know more of it about visual uh, C hash um, or C sharp or what you wanna call it. So you want to click on Visual Basics, and then up here it will say Windows Form Application. So you want to click here, and then name, just name whatever you want. So for this one, I'm just going to call it Web Browser YouTube. So once you've done that, you want to click OK. And once it's done, you'll be greeted with this screen. You're probably thinking, whoa, what is all this? You've got all this over here, you've got this Solution Explorer, you've got the toolbox, and you're like, whoa, what's going on? really straightforward this right here is the actual design of the program this is what you're going to be using to actually like make the program and um how you want it to all look um this is just sort of like the aesthetics of the program and with the aesthetics you can uh, interact with the um the what you want to call them the elements i suppose the elements which you get from the toolbox um and with the elements from the toolbox you can you know, build up a program so basically, all you're going to need for the web browser um, is you're going to up here. It'll probably be you probably won't have it like this. It'll probably be tucked away like this. What you want to do is click on toolbox right here, and then uh, under all forms, just click the arrow and then just pin it because um, we're going to be needing it. So pin it. Once you've done that, you have all these different things. Like, well, where's all this? What you're going to be needing is um, we're going to need buttons. So you're going to need uh, it's all alphabetical, I should know that. Um, a, B. So you want to go button one, two, three, three buttons. So you're going to need um, text box, which is can be found right here. Just double click that, and then that'll brought right into there. And finally, a web browser, which at the very bottom should be. Um, and once you've done that, you have all this, and you're like thinking, well, this doesn't really look good, does it? Um, we'll begin with name, renaming the form up here. You can see it says form one. It's not really, you know, what you want. So over here, this is the properties. So this is the properties of the element which you're clicking on. You know, when you've got it selected, because it'll have like a dotted line around the sides, and there'll be the obviously the markers to move. Um, all you want to do is uh, make it to the size you want. That's a fairly nice size. Uh, make sure the form one's selected. Down here under appearance you'll find all these different things. This is all confusing, I know. But trust me, once you get the hang of Visual Basics, you'll know off the top of your head. So under text, uh, you'll see it's bolded here. So you, you can put this to web browser. And uh, as you can see, the actual form will rename to web browser. So that's pretty cool. Um, next thing we want to do is you want to lay the buttons out. So as, as you move, they will align to a nice spot by these blue lines that are indicated at the side. Um, if you do it like this, uh, the buttons will be laid out evenly. They won't be like that. They won't be like this. If you follow the guidelines, it will give it a nice even spacing. 
um, and here's the web browser. Purple line indicates the so it's centered. So once you've done that, you can just stretch that out all along. And button through finally, you can just go up the end there. Um, you want it to be a purple inline, so it's in line with these buttons as well. So that's nice. I mean, if you have another little layout, you can go for it. It doesn't really matter. It's, as again, it's just the aesthetics of the actual program itself. And once you've done that, you want to stretch out the web browser window so it's uh, you know, nice and big. Uh, and then same with the same what we did with the form. We have to collect the buttons and rename them. So obviously this button here, button one, button one's going to be uh, back. Button two is going to be um, forward. And button three is going to be go or search. Really search. Search. Right, there we go. So now you've got your buttons, and basically that's the aesthetics of the program done. Now it's down to the code. When you want to edit the code of the element which you're going to be working with, you're going to need to double click it. So we're going to start with the back button. Um, once you've clicked the back button, the actual coding is very, very simple. Um, to begin with, with the back button, all we're going to be needs to type in is uh, web browser one dot go back. And basically, oh, I spelled something wrong. No, I didn't write. And then once you've done that, just hit enter and it will break it. If you see any underlying wiggles, just make sure you've entered it correctly. Um, once you've done that, you'll, you'll probably remember, well, what does this mean? Basically, this is telling the web browser to go back. Um, so whatever, it will uh, it'll make more sense later when I show you the code for the uh, go button. So you want to do a similar thing for the forward button. So you just type in web well, browser one dot go forward and just uh, enter, let's do that, just, sorry, my bad, um, just done that, go forward, and then for search, you're going to need to type in a bit more complex bit of code, me.webbrowser1.navigate, tech, and you'll do an opening bracket, text box one dot text. And then hit enter. Oh, no, don't hit enter because uh, you'll mess up the code, are we? Hmm. Click outside the uh, bracket, then push enter. And now you're wondering, all right, that was kind of awkward. What does this mean? Me dot web browser one dot navigate. This is saying you, the web browser one needs to navigate to the text, which is in text box one. And because it's a web browser, it will be URL based, so it will need uh, www.google.com. If you just type in Google, it's just going to not work. <clears throat> so basically, the actual text box has become like a URL box now instead of a text box. So anything you put into text box one will be displayed in web browser one. It will navigate to that page. So then once you've done this, this is basically the program done. You also want to hit save up here. Um, and then when you're going to test the program, you just uh, click start. This is a debug. This will give you a preview of what the thing, uh, the actual uh, program looks like live, um, running the code which you've all done um, or when it was last saved anyways. Um, mine takes a while. I don't know really why, but this is the diagnostic source. It's just telling you how much memory is being used. So about 20 megabytes of process memory is being used and not much of CPU usage being used at all. So. It's a very light program, but then again, it's not a very, you know, extreme program. It hasn't got a lot of coding in it. It's got three lines of code, and that's literally it. So any minute now, this program should load up. It's just my computer's mm -hmm. quite slow. Sorry about that. That was my phone going off. Um, here we go, and then the web browser opens up. Um, and if you can see, you can type up here www.google.com and then click the search button. It loads up Google. Um, just to make sure everything works, we can again just type in YouTube and head on to YouTube. And once we're in YouTube, we can test by clicking go back and it will take us back page. And back again will take us back to Google, clicking forward will take us back to the page we were just previously on, and pressing forward again brings us back onto YouTube completely. And once you're done, you can just click close. Um, and in order to save the program so you can run it without having it in Visual Studio, uh, you want to click up here where it says save all, um, keyboard shortcuts control shift C. Um, once you've done that, you want to click that, and once you've done that, 
a box should come up. It should. Any day now. No, oh, never mind, it has saved, right, okay. Never mind. Saving will just save everything so that save instead of it, if you just click save it'll just save uh whatever tab you're on up here. This is the tab selection, this is how you can switch in and out from uh the actual design and the uh coding. Um but yeah, that's basically it. So just save it, save all and then uh if you wanna find where these are saved, if I'm correct will be in documents, visual studio, um, projects, and then it'll be wherever you've called it. So here's web browser, YouTube's one we did. And in web browser, YouTube, you go to bin, debug, and then in here you'll find the exe application. Run that, and when you double click it, you should open up your web browser. <laughs> if it does load. My computer's really not the fastest in the world. I really do need to get it upgraded. Um, but yeah, with this now, you can sort of go off and venture off into Visual Basics and just sort of fiddle around with the little things which you can. Um, for example, you can add icons to the web browser, so um, you can change what it looks like up here. Instead of having this little blocks, you can go down here and find the icon. Should be under Appearance. Oh, here's the web browser. It's just the .exe file that's running. But yeah, um, if you've enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If this video has at all helped you, give it a you know a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see any other thing, uh, programming tutorials. Um, uh, yeah, so this is Harvey. I'm just sort of 